Nearly 6,000 people are known to have successfully climbed Mount Everest. Only about 2,000 have been successful in swimming the English Channel between England and France. Our Casey Nolan introduces us to a Kirkwood man who is training to make that swim unassisted to help others. Why free, free, free? For most of us, down and back, which is one of my workouts, might just knock us out. But in the far lane at the center of Clayton, Jonathan Whiting regularly puts in miles in the pool, often pulling an inner tube wrapped around his ankles to make it even harder because his goal is to conquer much rougher water. Are you scared of that swim? No. The English Channel, a 21 mile swim that can stretch to nearly 30 with the tide. Jonathan is training to swim the frigid 60 degree water without a wetsuit, without help, and without stopping. It is difficult because of not only the cold waters, there's seasickness. Uh, in the middle, there's jellyfish. But while alone in the water, he is not doing this for himself. Oh, I remember meeting her that night, and I got up the next morning, and before coffee, before anything, walked right to the phone. That phone call led to romance and their love to a family for Lori and Jonathan Whiting. You know, I think we were soulmates. We just were and such think, such thing. But at just 49, Lori discovered a lump in her stomach and what they hoped was nothing turned out to be something they'd never heard of. The doctor came in and said, you have cholangiocarcinoma, there's a 15% chance that you can live five years. There's no treatment, so we've scheduled surgery for you. Experimental treatments eventually weren't enough, and Lori passed four years later at the age of 53. Just seeing everything that she went through, medical procedures and holding a good attitude and not being afraid. If you didn't know she was diagnosed with cancer, you wouldn't know she had it because of how she acted. Uh, she was just, just made you smile. And that is why at the age of 60, Jonathan swims so relentlessly. I mean, her strength drives me. If you had, if you, if you're diagnosed with cancer, it's scary, and you don't have a choice. Yeah, swimming the channel is scary, but I do have a choice, so I want to use the strength that she showed me to give myself strength to swim across the channel. 21 miles at minimum, likely 14 to 18 hours in the water to reach the other side of the English Channel and as many people as he can with his message. To spread the word about cholangiocarcinoma, more people are getting it and at a younger age. The more I swim, the more I want to get the word out. The more I get the word out, the more I want to swim. He's raising money that he hopes will help with early detection and treatments that were not available for his wife. You can help. 21 miles of hope. 21 with the numbers. 21. 21 miles of hope.org. Mike.